How do you use LinkedIn events combined with webinars to help you build your business online? Today, I'm going to show you how to create and set up your first LinkedIn event um, using your LinkedIn company page. You can do this on your LinkedIn personal profile. It's just personal preference. I prefer to do it on my company page and how to connect that through to your sign up page on your email service provider. Today, I'm using ConvertKit and I will show you um, how we create the header for the LinkedIn event, how we create the actual event, the, co the co content we share in the event, as well as how we connect that through to the landing page where you can collect people's email signatures enable to enable you to send them out the link to join you for your free training and that will help you build your business online. So just to go through that again, we're going to create a LinkedIn event we are going to link that through to a landing page for your email list. We are going to fill out the details of the LinkedIn event, including the link through to your landing page. I'm going to show you how to create the image for your LinkedIn event. And then I'm going to talk to you about how to use um, the, the actual LinkedIn event to encourage people to sign up for your free training webinar or event. My name is Louise Brogan. I am the host of LinkedIn with Louise podcast and I teach people how to use LinkedIn for business. If you enjoy learning about using LinkedIn, then please do hit subscribe and let me know in the comments below what questions you want help with to help you build your business on LinkedIn. Let's get started. So let's go into LinkedIn and create our event. So we're, we're going to go, first of all, we're on the LinkedIn home feed right now. And I'm going to create my um, LinkedIn event on my company page. You can pe uh, create your event in your page or your personal profile. Look, you can create it here in your personal profile. Or you can create it on your company page if you have one. So I'm going to go to my company page. And you will see, here's one I did earlier. So... To create an event, you can either go in to, well, you basically you go into here and you click plus and you create your event. So because it's a company page, it's already populated with organizer here. And I'm going to type in my event name. So the event is called How to Use LinkedIn for Business. The time zone um, is set to UK for me. You can change that to wherever you want it to be. Um, you just pick the time zone that you wish to use. So you might want to be maybe you're in Western Australia and you pick that time zone. So I'm going to go back, oops, and create it on my own time zone. <laughs> it's a bit annoying, isn't it? That's so annoying, it doesn't even let you pick. You can't literally have to scroll through the time that you want so now we go back to normal for me because that's where I live and then I'm going to pick my date so let's put it now my best advice to you if you're doing a webinar is to give yourself at least two weeks so create um, the event two weeks in advance you want to pick your time so we'll do a lunchtime event the end is the same day one hour later so I think if you're doing a webinar that's a good idea and then you want to write in here your description. So you want to make this as appealing to your audience as possible. Now, I advise you to go and have a look at other events and see what they have written. So I go, because I'm creating my event on my website, I will just go and grab the, com the information from the website. Over here on my website, I have created a page for the whole event and it tells you what it's about so who what do you post on LinkedIn who do you connect with and um, blah 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 so let's copy that information pull it across to link to our LinkedIn event okay and then go back to here and I'm going to pick what you will learn in this event so let's pull that across in this free webinar, I will be teaching you how to, okay, teaching you how to optimize, make sure the grammar works, okay, your LinkedIn profile, know what 
to know what content to share, how to grow a valuable network, and why LinkedIn messaging is so important. Okay, and um, sign up on the link below to make sure you don't miss this free training. Okay. Then in the speakers, I'm going to add my own names because remember we are on my company page here. So if you are doing this in your personal profile, you will not have this extra option in here. Okay, is a visible visible the visibility is public. You can change that to private, which means that you are only inviting people that you want to attend. I will show you in a second what that looks like on LinkedIn as well. And then we're going to another bonus for using your LinkedIn company page is that you can use a LinkedIn registration form. So in order to use the LinkedIn registration form, you must have a privacy page on your website. And just to show you what that looks like in real terms, let's see, it's basically a privacy policy and, um, get this from somebody who you can use it from um, coffee clutch would have these actually um, or you can look at the ones that um, look at somebody else's and see what applies to you and put it in but basically you can't do you cannot collect information using a LinkedIn registration form without a privacy policy on your website if you click on the learn more button it will tell you <laughs> what they are gathering. Okay, so basically it's about um, getting the, the contact details. So it says they submit a registration form with their first name, last name, email address, job title, company name, and country region slash region. You have to do this. If I tick this on my event, people must click that in order to attend my event. So it might put people off. Um, so because I am already using a link on my website to, get, to collect people's um, names and addresses so I can send them out the link to my webinar, um, I can leave that out. So registration or broadcast link. So what is the registration address for my event? I will pop over here and I'm just going to grab it actually from here. And that is not the correct one. <laughs> The one I want to use here, so I'm going to click share and I'm going to copy this. I'm going to put it into my LinkedIn here. So this is not broadcasting, this is a registration page, okay? And we're going to click create. Now, because I already created this entire event um, earlier and my recording did not work, <laughs> I'm not going to do two. So what I'm going to do is show you where the event is in here. So upcoming, how to use LinkedIn for business. And this is what the event looks like for um, my audience. I, I have got a cover image in here, so you must add in. Well, you, you don't have to, but it looks much better if you add in a photograph in here. Um, and there's the title. It says who it's by. It says it's online. Uh, it tells you when it is. You can add it to your calendar. So add to your Google calendar. So hopefully you get people be reminded that way as well. And we we'll scroll down and I'm going to look inside the details. So here are the information that I have sent out about the webinar. Here's the speaker, which is me. And then people are able to ask for information on a post in here. Networking, people are invited to network. So you can see who else is attending the event you are going to. And then I will get um, information on my event analytics as the person creating the event. So there's the link to join. If we click on this, it should take us to the right place. Correct. Yes. Hi, my business on LinkedIn. Um, join our free training and people sign up here. So that is how you create your event on LinkedIn. And I'm going to show you 
how people, sorry, that's the registration form, how other people can find your events. So, so finding events, really, there's a couple of ways to do it, but search is probably the best way to find an event that you might be interested in. So if the information you're looking for is something around, um, let's think, business coaching or business growth, maybe it's better. We type that in at the top and then we look for, we click on events. So you're going to see um, connecting with the right audience for business growth and development. Um, Amazon webinar product managers contributing to business growth. So whatever you're interested in, you will see down here. Now there's only going to be events that are made public. Remember that you could make your event private if you wanted to. If you click on my network here, and go down to the left hand side, you will see events that you have attended, showed interest in, been part of. Um, mine are kind of funny because some of them will be clients' events and others will be um, events that I have used in demonstration videos as well. But you can go back into these events. So, for example, go your authority in business using YouTube, we click on that. That was held in March and there you can see who who attended the event. So there's lots and lots of information you can see and there's if we click on the networking, 19 of my connections attended that event and there were 39 attendees. So you could go back and see who attended an event. Now this is not an event that I was part of. This is an event I was an attendee at. So there's lots of um, ability to go in and find people and interestingly you can see here that Tom Martin was the speaker. So you could also search for speakers for your next event based on existing events that are already on LinkedIn. And when you're ready to share your own event, you can go to how you find your own event is you go back to your company page here and you'll see the event down the right hand side. Here they are here. Now interesting, these are not clickable. So you have to click on show all events to get into your actual event. And then you click on it there and then you can invite people to join. So those are all people who are in my network and um, you can share it in a post, in a message, copy the link so you can put it on your own personal profile, put it out on Twitter, put it out on Facebook and really start creating a bit of a buzz around your event. And hopefully that has been really helpful for you to figure out how to use LinkedIn events and webinars to help you build your business. If you have enjoyed this, please do let me know in the comments below any of your questions or thoughts. And uh, please hit subscribe to the channel so and let me know what next video you'd like to see me create.